Hey everybody, welcome to collegecandy.com, it's Caitlin. Today I'm going to go over a couple of hair and face treatments that you can use from ingredients out of your own fridge. The first one is an egg white face mask, which is actually kind of gross. Um, I don't like to do this a lot, but it's really good for your skin. Um, you use about two eggs and separate them and um, put the egg whites on your face and leave it on for about five minutes and it's really going to tighten up your skin. All that protein is going to do a lot. Um, working from the inside out. Don't leave it on for too long because your face will get really, really tight. So this is a good um, a good mask for if you've been breaking out a little bit um, or if you just notice that your skin's a little bit dull. Um, use an egg white mask and your skin will look really good. Um, just make sure you wash everything off really well because it's going to be pretty gross. The next one is a banana, honey, and lemon mask. Take a banana, um, you can freeze it or you can keep it in the fridge, um, a banana, honey, and a squeeze of lemon and mash it up and mix it together and put it on your face. This is really good for oily skin. Um, I would leave it on for about 15 minutes. This is one of my favorite masks to do because it does what needs to be done for oily skin but it doesn't really, really dry you out. Sometimes if you have a pre-made mask for oily skin, it really, really dries out your skin. So this is a good way to kind of avoid the aftershock of using an oily skin mask because it has so many nutrients and it's so organic and natural. Um, it's not going to dry you out nearly as much as a pre-made mask would. My favorite thing to do is use an avocado and olive oil mask for my hair. Um, I do this a lot. It's disgusting because, you know, you're putting avocado in your hair and it's green and it really throws you off, but um, it works wonder. Avocado is an ingredient that's really packed full with nutrients, has a lot of fatty acids in it, um, which is really good for making your hair super shiny. So take an avocado, open it, and mix it with about a tablespoon or two of olive oil and mash it up really well. You could put it in a food processor, but um, it doesn't really matter. So just mash it up so it's nice and creamy and um, slather it in your hair. It's gonna be gross, so do this you know, when you're not around anybody. After you put the avocado mask on your hair, I would put it under a shower cap um, just to kind of keep everything in because you don't want to be dripping avocado all around you. Um, so leave this on for about 15 minutes and then wash it out. Make sure you rinse it first and then you can shampoo um, or and condition. Don't forget to like get all the bits out because you don't want to be walking around with avocado in your hair after you just washed it out. Um, but that's going to leave your hair really, really shiny. At home, I do this mask on my hair pretty frequently, probably like once every two weeks, but living at the sorority house, I don't do it as much. But this is a really great treatment, so I highly recommend it to everyone. This next hair treatment is going to be really good for removing any buildup. During, you know, seasonal changes, our hair kind of tends to freak out, and you might be noticing you've got some buildup in your scalp. So um, to get rid of that, take baking soda and mix it with a little bit of water to make a paste and then put that in your hair, rub it into your scalp and leave it on for 15 minutes. This is going to help remove any of that buildup. Make sure you scrub it into your scalp pretty well and um, rinse it out when you're done. This is really going to help neutralize anything that's going on. Um, baking soda is one of those like wonder products that does everything. You can brush your teeth with it, you can fix your hair, you can wash your face with it. Um, it's all great. So. Uh, I definitely recommend that if you're having any problems with your scalp and keep it in your refrigerator. If you have any at-home recipes from your fridge, please leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter at College Candy, follow me at Caitlin Corsetti, follow Sorority Girl CC and CC Intern, and don't forget to leave your ideas below. I'd love to hear them. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me, and I will see you guys next week.